Shut up and sit down. Yo, 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 people, welcome back to the Hardware Review, and we are back with Vapor So This time we're looking at the Lux PM40. Yes, it's got a 1,800 mAh built-in battery Type-C charging. It's even got airflow. Now, when people talk about mods having babies, this is like a three-way between the Lux... You've got the X-Ross in the middle and the PM80 at the bottom. I haven't got a clue where I got that from. But it's like they've all had babies. And we've came up with this one. I'll tell you what. Let's go and have a look at it and let's go down low. So the Vapor SO Lux PM40. You've got a picture of your mod there. It tells you that it's got airflow control. It is the GTX coils, which is a big plus. You've got the Axon chip and that has the F. T mode, which I'm, I'm thinking it's like flavor control. It's something to do with the turbo boosting tech, which is on the Axon chip. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Type C charging. On that side, it tells you it's a Lux PM40. On that side, some other bump. And then at the top, you've got all the stuff you do get in the box itself. You scratch and sniff. Don't wait for the bin and all your kite marks. Open it up. Just push it around. Your normal sort of packaging, what you get with your Vaporesso. You've got all your warranty cards, all your manuals, everything in there. Nice braided Type-C charging cable, which is always nice to see. The, the, another big thing that I really do like from Vaporesso that they've been doing for quite a while, they did it with the PM80, they give you two pods. So if you've got one pod that you've got sort of like a menthol in and then the other one you've got a custard in, you're not having to like proper clean it out. You know what it's like with, with plastic, it can sort of taint with sort of some e-liquids. So because you've got two, you can sort of like have a menthol and fruities in one and like if you have desserty and custards in the other. I think that's absolutely corking. Let's have a look at the pod itself. Just zoom in a little. There we go. And if you have a little look on the side, you'll be able to see that's where your airflow comes in from the side. You've got like these little grills on there. If you have a little look at the bottom, that's where your coil goes in. Now, this is a top fill, and I absolutely love this top fill. Now, a lot of people have been trying to like sort of pull it off from there. Don't say things like that. What you do is, is you just get it from the side and just tip it. That's all you've got to do. That's how easy it is to come off. A lot of people are trying to pull it off from, from there like that. But it's a lot easier if you just push it to the side. And it opens. Now, the filling mechanism on this is absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. So what you've got is you've got a one-way valve. So you can actually see your nib going in. So once you put your nib in and you fill it up, You've got another little hole here to stop you from getting airlocks, which is absolutely fantastic. I bang on about it all the time, about uh, they either have really small fill ports and you can't get it in and it's it's giving you airlocks and juices going everywhere. But with this, I have had no problems, no leaking, no nothing. So you fill it up from there. Like I said, you've got your little airflow. It is a 4 mil pod, 2 mil pod, obviously, if you are TPD compliant. I'm loving the fact that it's clear as well. You can actually see how much e-liquid you've got in there. And the, the filling mechanism is absolutely fantastic. It is a duck bill mouthpiece. I'm not overly keen on these, if I'm honest with you. It always feels a little bit big in my mouth. <laughs> these reviews are going further down the toilet every time I do them. Um, it's a little bit big in my mouth. I don't find these type of drip tips um, or mouthpieces comfortable. Right, let's get on to the coils. This is one of the big things, again, that I'm a big shout out to Vaporesso. They sent me these out as well to, to have a little look at. I've used most of these coils. And I've got some of most of them left, if I'm honest with you, from previous reviews. But they're keeping with the GTX coils in these sort of devices, um, from the X-Ross to the PM80. They're keeping with the same sort of coils. And that really does help the consumer. And not only that, it helps the bricks and mortar stores as well. They're not stocking different coils. Now, in this one, it comes with a 6 ohm and also an 8 ohm. I've used the 1 ohm and also a 1.2 ohm in this. So, in this little pack, you get the RBA section, which you can use with this as well. All the way from the 3 ohm, all the way to the 1.2 ohm. They're all mesh. 
which is absolutely fantastic. I quite like that packaging as well. So like I said, you do get the 6 ohm. Just show you that. Get the right way around. They are all mesh, like I did say. And the 6 ohm is best between 20 and 30 watts. Take a little look inside. Then also we've got the 0.8 ohm. Not much difference in the size of these. This is the one that I've actually got in at the minute. Again, mesh, and that's best between 12 and 20 watts. I've been roughly running it about 15, 16 watts. Now let's have a little look at the mod. It's got like a, a stab wood or resiny look to it. It isn't. It's like a plastic feel to it. It doesn't feel cheap, but I do like the look of it. There is a number of colours. I will show you them when we go uh, back up top under the pros and the cons. And you've got that on both sides. Just tell you that it is um, Vaporesso on there. And also it tells you it is the Lux PM80. Sort of like got like that gunmetal look to it. It is zinc alloy. So on the top here, you'll see you've got your airflow either side. There you go. And then you've got your airflow control. Now, if you've seen the x -Ross, it's exactly the same. So the thing you've got to do is just push it across. That's it fully closed. And then that's fully open. If I'm totally honest with you, th there is a difference, but I haven't found a mass off difference. Um, it worked a little bit better with the 1.2 ohm coil. But you don't get many of these these actual devices with airflow, so a big thumbs up for that. Like I did say, you've got your airflow either side. You've got your fire button, and it's also your control button. That's how you move your wattage up and down. It is very, very simple. If we just take the pod off itself, it isn't draw activated, which I would have liked to have seen it draw activated, but it isn't. Nice and clicky, no problems with it coming out at all. It clicks in really nice and you've got no problem. Again, so simple to fill, you just push that across. You can see how much e-liquid you've got in there as well. Put it back on, just clips on. It's not gonna fall off at all. Really well made. Uh, on the bottom, tells you that you've got the Axon chip. Kite marks don't vape in a bin, made in China. It has got a 1,800 mAh battery in there. Type C charging as well, as you can see at the bottom. Two amp fast charge takes roughly about an hour to uh, fully charge up. You've got your screen, and then it is. Turn it off first. Should have done that. Terrible reviewing. <laughs> five clicks on, five clicks off. Tells you it is Vaporesso. You've got your ohms, your puff counter, and your battery indicator. You've also got your wattage, and then there's a little lock there which tells you when it's locked the wattage. That is how simple this screen is and the menu. Now, to get into the wattage to move it up and down, well, you can't move it down, to move it up is three clicks. And then you'll see it starts to flash. And then it goes up in one watt increments. You can't go back down, you can only go round. And it goes all the way up to 40 watts and it does round robin all the way to 5 watts. And then once you've found the wattage that you want, you leave it, it flashes and then that lock comes in and that means you've locked your wattage. It is that simple. And that's basically the Lux PM40. So let's get down to the nitty gritty with the Lux PM40. Let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the mouthpiece. It's one of them duck bill shaped mouthpieces. That's not easy to say, is it? I find them really uncomfortable. They don't sort of like fit in your mouth very well. Some people may like them. I personally don't. So that's down to my personal preference. The pod itself is a 4mm pod. TPD compliant, it will be 2mm. Very easy to see your e-liquid because it is clear, so a big thumbs up for that. It is a top fill, and it's an absolute fantastic filling mechanism on it as well. Now, when you're trying to get into it, you've got to move the mouthpiece. Don't go from the side or try and push it. You're just going to move the pod. Just push it forward, and it just clips off. It is that simple. Just clips off. The mouthpiece does fit on nice and tightly. You've got a one-way valve. So you put your nib in there, fill your juice up, 
take it out and then it doesn't go anywhere at all. You've then got another hole on the other side which stops you from having an airlock. I bang on about it all the time. They either make the pods where the actual filling port's too small so you get an airlock and there's going to be juice all over. These have cracked it. It's absolutely brilliant. One-way valve with a little hole on the other side stops you from getting that airlock. No leaks, no nothing from it at all. Right, let's talk about the coils now. Another big shout out to Vapor SO for this. They've stuck with the GTX coils. Now, the GTX coils are absolutely fantastic. Really, really good coils. I've re reviewed them numerous of times. And you, you saw that package as well, what they sent with all the different ones that you can actually get. I thought that were really nice. You can also use the RBA section on this. You can use from the 0.3 all the way to, all the, way to the 1.2 ohm coil. Now, the coils that you get with this is the 0.6 ohm coil. Uh, that is best, between, I'm just looking now, best between 20 and 30 watts. You also get the 0.8 ohm coil. That's best between 12 and 20 watts. In here at the minute, I've actually got the 0.8 um, coming out. I've been using it roughly between uh, 15 and 16 watts. It's at 16 watts, as you can see. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. Really good flavour, really good clouds from these. Now I have had the 1.2 ohm coil in here and the 1 ohm. The 1.2 ohm coil is between 7 and 11 watts. Now this has got airflow. So when you've got it wide open and you've got the 0.8 ohm coil in there, you're getting a restricted direct to lung. Now, when you've got the 1.2 ohm coil in here, it's more of a restricted direct to lung. Verging on an airy mouth to lung. Now, with the 0.8, when you shut the airflow off, you do get a little bit more resistance. Not a lot, but there is a lot more a little bit more resistance to it. So you're getting a really um, restricted direct to lung. But like I said in the upper close, there isn't like loads to it, but you can feel it. This is it wide open. This is it closed down. You don't see this very often on these sort of devices with an airflow on it. And like I said, it's like they've had babies with the X-Ross. The other good thing uh, that I do like about it is the fire buttons there, they have slightly moved it up because on the X-Ross they had it quite low down. So you were sort of covering up the airflow where they've actually moved this up. You've got your airflow either side, so that's where it's coming in, into your coil and up through your mouthpiece. Yeah, I quite like that. I like the fact that you've actually got airflow on it. The big thing about having the GTX coils as well, it gives you the possibility of doing direct to lung and also mouth to lung with how many different coils you can use and also the RBA deck. And if you are doing mouth to lung, you've got a 1,800 built-in mar battery. You can have battery for days. Um, the thing that I'm not too keen on this is the one button function. So it's five clicks on, five clicks off. And then it's three clicks to get into it. Now, you can only go up. You can't go down on your wattage. It goes all the way up to 40 watts from five watts in one watt increments. So when you're clicking it three times, it starts to flash. Then you move your wattage wherever you want it. If you miss it, you've got to go all the way back round again. When it stops flashing and that lock sign comes up, that means you've locked your wattage. Now, sometimes what I've found is if I don't quite catch the three properly, it does shh, fires. So if you're on a high wattage at 40 watts and you put a low wattage coil in there, you're going to get a boost of 40 watts on a 1.2 ohm coil. Not good. Like I've just done it then. Not good. It doesn't happen all the time. It's not something that's happening all the time, but it's what I feel is a, with you just having that one button function. It would have been nice maybe if they did have uh, two more buttons just below it so you could move your wattage up and down. The screen is very, very simple. You've got no menu to speak of. You've just got your wattage up and down. Tells you your ohms, tells you your battery and how many puffs you've had. Type-C charging, 2 amp. Fast charge as well, Type-C. So big thumbs up for that. I do like the look of it. 
I will just put above my shoulder all the different colours you can get. I think there is an extra few more colours that have come out, I've, I've actually seen. I do like the look of it. It's more of like a plasticky look. It isn't like a, a resin stab wood or anything like that, but it doesn't feel cheap. It is well made. It has got the Axon chip in there as well, so that's got to be a big thumbs up. It is telling you that it has got Turbo Boost technology on the Axon chip. And it's saying that it is better than Bypass all the way through to the drop-off of your battery. I'm not quite sure on that. I've, I've, I've had good battery life out of it. I've got good flavour, good cloud. All in all, if I round this up, this is going to be a perfect starter kit for somebody... Who's, you can do mouth to lung, you can do direct to lung. It's not actually that dear as well. I think it's roughly about 40 quid. You get two pods, big thumbs up for that. I always like that when they put two pods in there. Because like I said, if you're using like a spearmint or a menthol and you want to use your custards, you've not got to be able to wash them out so bad because you know that the plastic does sometimes hold that taste of the e-liquid. Yeah, all in all, big thumbs up. I do like it. And we haven't fitted it in, have we? It is nice and ergonomical in your hand. Apart from the drip tip and that one button function, yeah, big thumbs up from Little Bro. Well, this has been another review from me. Big shout out for Vaporesso for sending this out for review. If you've liked the review, make sure you like, subscribe and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press and give it to our new magic number. I'm on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. And there's one last thing to say. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.